Hey there. So welcome to a new series I'm starting here. I'm going to be looking at how to build a match three puzzle game using the Godot engine. Godot is a free and open source software engine that for the most part uses its own custom scripting language called GDScript, which is heavily influenced by Python. Uh, you can also build Godot from the base up in order to work with C Sharp. And there's also a visual scripting language that you can use with Godot. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the GD script language, mainly because I want to take Godot on its face. So that means I want to try to get pretty good at using its GD script language. I'm relatively new to Godot myself. Uh, I started using it at the beginning of the summer, probably back in June, beginning of June. Um, and of course, the first thing I did, because I really like 2D puzzle games, is make a 2D grid-based puzzle game. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go through my process here. For the most part, one of the reasons I really like using Godot is there are some things that Godot has built in that you would have to do some coding to make happen in Unity. So in some ways, Godot is much more user-friendly and new user-friendly, especially if you're new to programming than Unity is. Godot also has an editor that seems a bit more streamlined than Unity's. Uh, for people who are new to using a programming editor or a game engine, Unity can be a little obtuse sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I think Unity is awesome. I love Unity. Uh, however, I like Godot as well. Um, and also, that's how I'm going to be pronouncing it, is Godot, because their tagline is specifically the game engine you waited for, which is a reference to the play Waiting for Godot. So that's how I'm going to be pronouncing that. I am not going to be saying Godot. Um, okay, cool. So if you want to download it, you just have to go to GodotEngine.org, and then their download tag, and in underneath the download tag you have 32 and 64-bit, and then there's the mono version, like I said, that you have to build. Um, go ahead and just uh, download the 3264-bit. When you get that, you'll get a zip file that you just extract. And you can extract it to whatever directory you want it to be. Uh, on Mac, when you extract it, you'll get the application that you just have to drag into your applications folder. And then since you're dragging it into your applications folder, you'll have to reassure Mac OS that it is indeed something you want to use. Um, I also have an asset pack that we're going to be using, or you can use if you want to, you can use different assets if you want to as well, and I'll include those, I'll include a link to those down in the description below. So yeah, uh, I'll be updating these videos on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday uh, of every week, and I'm going to aim for about 10 minutes per video. I might go over on some, uh, I might be a tiny bit under on others, but 10, 10 minutes is what I think is a pretty good length for these. So, yeah, uh, feel free to leave any comments in the description down below. You can follow me on Twitter. I'll provide my Twitter link down below. Uh, I will also provide a link to my Discord channel down below where you can join me. I'm chatting pretty much every day. And, yeah, I hope you enjoy the series, and feel free to leave likes or comments down below. Have a wonderful day.